Aries getting ready to do your monthly reading. This is for love. This is for the month of September. Let's see what's in store for Aries for the month of September. For love, the overview of the month, how you're feeling or what's going on in your love life universe. Please let me know messages for Aries. What do they need to know? All right, Aries. Okay, so you're starting off with Ace of Swords. So perfect. Seven of Coin justice so definitely could be having something good come in something that's made might will pay off be worth it um there's you you are worrying though about this new beginning there you are i feel again you may be confused at where you're going or what you're doing hmm the energy around you is the tower so someone might be having a mental crisis um this is, that's because that's not necessarily you in that position maybe someone's confusing you you may have a partner who's confusing you you have cards here that might show that way maybe you're tired of it maybe you have someone who they're moody you're tired of dealing with them i don't know let's see four of cups you're hoping for an offer oh and the outcome is two of swords so you might be getting an offer oh so you king or queen um or this could be someone else this could be another fire sign or just someone very warm friendly maybe you met this person you may really like this person but you may already be with someone else and you may not want to hurt them with the two of swords outcome or it's something you don't want to think about or address at this point okay what is the ace of swords for aries what is the ace of swords nine of cups yeah very happy this is good energy here so in the month of September, something's going to come in. I mean, it could be a new start. It could be a new idea. Um, it can be another relationship. It doesn't really show that, but it can be. So again, I have, I feel like you're evaluating where you're at with the seven of coin and you are deciding what to do next, where to go. Um, if you have a partner, if it's time to, you know, leave them and not put effort into the relationship anymore. Seven of coin, please. Seven of coin, please. Ten of coin. Yeah, you might have been with this person for a while. Or this could be something you're going towards with the ten of coin. Something more lasting. Stability in this relationship. Um, let's see. Justice. Justice. The world. Yeah. You need to end something. So if you are worried about ending something with someone maybe you've been with them for a while maybe you feel you know loyal to them you don't want to hurt them um, that you don't know how to do it you, you you will rock the world by leaving um they're saying it's okay justice in the world is time to go something new is coming in a new beginning for you the king of wands to a coin you're trying to decide though Nine of Swords, you're really worried or thinking about this. Yeah, I feel like you're worried about giving, you know, they'll be broken hearted. You could be worried about yourself, worried if this new situation is worth it. But with all these cards, I don't feel like this is something negative coming in. Okay, Knight of Swans, Knight of Wands. It could be also that you're worried, Hermit. Don't race off too quickly could be that you're worried about getting a broken heart. You've had it in the past. Um, you want to start something new. You've met someone, but you're not sure what to do. That would also be why you're worried. You want to move forward, but you don't want to get your heart broken. So don't race off, because that is your energy again, male or female. It can be you moving quickly. Um, see, what is the moon? Because you're confused, or you're not sure. Six a coin. That's someone being generous or you being generous. It can also mean balance. Um, hang on. What is the six of coin? What is the six of coin in this reading for Aries? What is the six of coin? A message. So it definitely could be someone offering you something, giving you something, and you're unclear about the intent, about what's behind it. Um, you are worried about a broken heart. So you, I can see where you're like, you want to go, but you feel confused. What is the tower? 
Knight of Swords moving too fast, not paying attention to the details. Knight of Swords again, please. We, okay, this has definitely something to do with the relationship with the Hierophant and then wanting to get rid of it. So be careful how you handle it with the Knight of Swords energy. It could be that you are ready to leave a situation. You, you want to move on. You just maybe want to be careful about how you treat someone or how you act or talk to them. Unless they're coming at you and creating this chaos. But again, what is the Four of Cups? Four of Cups. Three of Coin. Okay, what is the Two of Swords? Two of Cups, yeah. Two of Cups, what else? Three, yeah, Three of Cups. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing something good coming in for you guys. But I almost feel like some of you think it's too good to be true. So you're worried about a broken heart. It seems like there's... I mean... The coins can represent, of course, actual money, but gifts, kindness. You may not trust this person. You may worry with the moon, I feel. Because the moon can represent fears. It can also represent, um, you know, crisis of faith, not trusting. And you're trying to weigh, the, what, this, weigh up this decision. I feel like this is... With justice, it's saying that you deserve this. This is something new coming in. Be careful of who you're leaving only because I, on the way out, you're going to create the tower energy around you, and this isn't going to make them happy. Um, because with your outcome right here, with you, if you're leaving something and moving on, it's going to create the tower for the other person, and they're going to come after you and be upset. If this is the energy you have to go through to get to this, you might just want to, you know, do it. Maybe hustle through it really fast, um, if that makes sense. Maybe because that's you don't want to do something, or you're worried about getting your heart broken or moving forward. Some of you are worried that this other person coming in, there's a third party with three of coin. But again, these are your hopes or fears. You want an offer, but you're not quite sure. Again, maybe if there's a third party involved with that, but that's, and you may have had that happen in the past, and that's why you're very sensitive, sensitive to that, and you don't obviously want that to happen again. So you are weighing this up. So what I'm seeing for you guys in September, something new is coming in, a new start, a new beginning. You're meant to leave something old with the world and move forward. And this is something good, but you're really worried about it. You're worried about this person being untrue. But I have no negative cards in this reading. I don't five of swords or seven of swords. Um, you, I feel like on one hand, you are ready to move quickly with the Knight of Wands energy. But you are being told to slow down. And I don't think it's because... Um, I don't feel it's because, I feel like it's because of whoever, if there's another person involved, this energy here. Someone may have hurt you and so you may want to end it quickly, go after them, you don't care because of this energy here to move on to something else. I feel you've kind of conflicted as I'm doing this reading. You want to leave something but you're afraid to get hurt. You're also afraid to cause this tower energy because when you break up, for, um, you're very conflicted but that's why you would have the two of swords as your outcome. What is this Three of Swords? A new beginning. Yeah. You have a new beginning coming in here, and it is good. This is good energy. Two of Cups. Very loving relationship, seeing eye to eye. Could also be what the Six of Coin is here. Three of Cups is dating, going out, having fun, celebrating, being very, being very happy. But I feel at this point, with the Worry and the Moon card and the Two of Swords, you can't see that. You can't see that energy. Again, sometimes you can't see the offer with the Four of Cups either. You're looking down. But again, this could actually be something good. Not a third party, just people, they're getting along. They're working together. Things are running smoothly. So that's um, definitely what is 
the relationship would be that way. All right. So let me see if anything else wants to come out for your reading. Any other messages? Like I feel like it's like saying give love a chance. What is the two of coin? What is the two of coin? Obviously it's you trying to make a decision. Seven of wands. Defending what you want. Going after what you want. Persevering. Not giving up. Um, so don't stay stuck in something you don't want to be in keep moving forward but I, I do definitely see that you probably will with this energy it's a good relationship coming in so be open to it so with that I'm going to close your reading have a great week you guys and take care